Nature plays a big part and the surroundings play a big part. I find when you design anything, the content of the project you're building has to have context to the surroundings. I have another good friend of mine, John Allen, in England, who's another classmate of mine. When he was here sometime, and we would say, Jason, we want to do a project. Let's first go to the site. We would walk into the site, he would also walk quietly. So that is what I call meditation. The neighbors would say, who are these fellows all dressed up, sitting in the middle on a stone, looking at all the things. And we now want the site to talk to us. What is the site saying that I should build? The client's aspiration is for this much. Does the client accept that aspiration? Does this site accept this aspiration? Within the laws and whatever it is. This floor has a window, that floor has a door, this tree is growing there, there's a well there, there is some. The site totally starts a conversation with you. Why can't I have the toilet here? Why can't I have the entrance here? The sun. You suddenly find when you have sketched the office, you think east sun will come. Whereas you go and sit in the site, there is nothing in the east but one big tall building sitting here. Where is the sun going? Whereas there is a reflection from the other side. But as you said, the buses and lorries, where is the sun? What is the point of putting him in a room where he can't even hear himself? Right? So I said, the site talks to you. When that adaptation happens, it is an adaptation. Then the next adaptation is the process which each material, and it's not just the material, the builder. You can't have everybody building the way you want. Some builders are totally committed to you. Some of them are just business-minded. They can't put numbers, numbers in. They are not my type, but usually I don't. And the third one, the other category is the fear. Anything you use away from the normal, they're scared. Sir, we will accept your plan, but not your construction system. I said, how is that possible? The story belongs to one category. It belongs to characters. And, it's an, and I also said, if you take a good story, the main character has a character. It's only the other characters who change their behavioral pattern. If the main character changes the behavioral pattern, the story dies. I also need that main character in my house, in my buildings. There is a character that is consistent throughout from day one to the last day when we were. After that, what happens is not my problem. This is the adaptation which I want every site and every project and every architect to understand.